Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and tonight I want to talk about hormones versus calories. Mm-hmm. Yes, which is really more important when you want to lose weight. Do you need to focus on hormones more or should you really focus on calories more? I can't tell you how many women the calories in, calories out gets beat into our heads of this is how you get success. If you're not counting calories, nothing is gonna work for you. This is the only way. Anything else is just not gonna give you a result. And this system is set up for men. Research on how calories work in the system, research on weight loss, research on how this system, calories in, calories out, works in the human body. Research and everything is done on men. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't take in to account the female body and the hormonal change that women have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you're looking at something or when you have, I don't care if it's a trainer, a nutritionist, dietitian, anybody, when they're only talking about calories and that's the way to find success and they're leaving out the female physiology, you're talking to somebody who's only been educated on the male point of view. So keep that in mind. So for women out there who are struggling, who are frustrated, who are like, oh, I'm doing all this stuff and I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere, yeah, because you're probably following this model of calories in, calories out. Now, with that being said, there is an important difference in the calories, right? In the calories. So when you're looking at, okay, 100 calories, right? 100 calories, not all calories are created equal. 100 calories of almonds is very different than 100 calories of gummy bears, right? Almonds have protein, fat, and carb in them. And gummy bears are just carbs, it's just sugar. So of course it's gonna have a different effect on the body. So if you're using nutrient and counting macronutrient, good, but you still need to adjust your macronutrients to the hormonal shift and change that women have throughout the month. Yeah, because your body needs different things throughout the month. So in the hormonal cycle, estrogen is here in blue, progesterone is here in red. And when you're looking at your system, especially leading up to the time right before your cycle starts, you need to have more nutrient here. So more protein, more fats, more carbs at this point. If you're not getting that, the female body sees it as a depletion. And how the female body responds to that depletion is actually really different than the male body. So this is why the calories don't work for women. When you deplete the female body in calories and do that for an extended period of time, the female body will not target fat. Our bodies are not designed that way. Our bodies are primarily designed to be fat storing machines. Yeah, yeah. We don't even get to burn fat the same way men burn fat after a workout. Women can work out and get, in, get into and stay in fat burning for maximum of three hours. Men, they get like 21 hours. Yeah, that means they can work out in the morning and then go to bed and still be their body and be you know burning fat and targeting fat. Yeah, not fair, not fair, I know. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is. So knowing that, realize that, okay, so my system is set up differently. I'm not gonna be in fat burning all the time, et cetera. That's not how the female body works physiologically. So I need to lean into what my hormones are doing to really get and keep a better result. Yeah, that's honestly a game changer for so many women, so many women. So when we're looking at this here and saying, okay, I need to um, get the right nutrients here because if I'm not getting the right nutrients, instead of burning fat, the female body, when it gets restricted, right? If you're cutting your calories, cutting your calories, the female body will start to target muscle tissue. It will catabolize muscle tissue. It will break down your muscle tissue, use that for energy because it's fast, faster than targeting fat cells and breaking that down and using that for energy. So for a lot of women, when they notice, oh, I'm doing this, you know, I'm cutting things down, I'm cutting things out, I'm cutting out nutrients, um, maybe I'm losing on the scale, and you'll lose really rapidly. Any rapid weight loss for women, you can lose water weight or inflammation and stuff, fine. Um, but after that initial inflammation weight loss, if you lose rapidly, it's muscle tissue. And so women will notice, oh, I just feel like I don't have energy. Oh, I feel squishy. Oh, oh what? But the scale is saying something different. Okay, but it's muscle you just lost, not actual fat tissue. Very, very different thing. Completely different thing in the body and in the system. And it's a harder thing to reverse when that happens. So if you're not paying attention to what your hormones need throughout the month, you're missing out on that huge piece of information and working with 
your body. People call it biohacking, all that stuff, great. But if you're not eating for your hormonal cycle, <laughs> you're, you're depleting, you can be depleting your system and really slowing your metabolism down overall. Yeah. Um, if you have a hormonal issue on top of that, that can make it even harder. So for example, if you have, you know, PMS issues, fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, hot flashes, right? If you're in perimenopause, menopause, these hormonal shifts and change can make it actually harder. If you have a lot of stress that can impact your cycle and impact your metabolism. If you're wondering about how to get your hormones tested, I do hormone testing called the Dutch test. I'm gonna put a link here for you guys to fill out and so you can check it out, learn more about what Dutch testing is and what it does. It gets sent right to your house. It's a really in-depth test. Um, I've done a few uh, reports over the past couple of days here with women and I had gals be like, oh my gosh, this is finally an answer. The thank you, this is finally an answer to why I'm fatigued, why I'm not getting results. I can't believe I, I didn't know this or I was struggling for so long with my body and now here's the result. Somebody else tell me, she goes, this is the best $500 I've ever spent on my health. I've learned so much about my body right now. I, I can't believe that this is, this is it, right? Um, so it really, it really gives you just this huge guidance of what's going on in your system and where to go from there. Um, because again, it's not just as simple, simple as calories in, calories out. It's not. It's really not. So for anybody that keeps telling you that and keeps repeating that, they don't know enough about the female body. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Really important information though to keep in mind as you're working through a lot of things. Um, an example I like to use to describe this is, so men and women, how we're so different, like this is an approach that works for the male body, but this is the approach that really works for the female body, right? And I'm not saying you ignore this completely, but you have to take this into account first and then fit all the nutrients in throughout the cycle, right? So this, the male approach would be like, and the female approach difference would be like, these are both vehicles, right? This is a diesel truck. This is what my husband drives. He drives a, I'm gonna write this down. Uh, this is like a, a diesel truck, right? That's what he drives. I drive a regular car. I, I just drive a car. It uses regular gasoline, <laughs> like just gasoline, right? Gas, that's what I put in it. So the diesel truck, these are both vehicles. They're both going to get you from A to B, right? But you cannot put diesel in the car. Won't work, right? You also can't put gasoline in a diesel, right? That, that, that doesn't work either. But this is how different the male and female body is. If you're trying to use the same fuel for a diesel vehicle versus a regular vehicle, it's not going to work. It's not going to give you the same results. It's not going to get you from A to B right? That's how easy it is to realize, oh my gosh, I've been ignoring my hormones, not taking in them into account, and really just missing out on the advantages that my cycle has. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. You can let me know if you have any questions or if you want more info um, on anything I've talked about. Um, but I also have other resources for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. Um, I talk more about nutrition that matches you know, throughout the hormonal cycle, more on the history of nutrition in here. I have a whole chapter on that and a whole section um, that's called the seven bodies of Eve that really goes through the different bodies that women have throughout their lifetime. So lots of good stuff in this book. Um, it was a number one new release and it's a bestseller on Amazon because I packed so much info in here. So there is that. My podcast is The Female Health Solution. Lots of good episodes coming out. And then I also have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that. So you stay updated on all the videos I have coming out so you never miss out on all the great info. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.